So You Can Play That Game is proudly sponsored by NiceGameShop.com, the place to go for rare and unusual Asian games. Good morning, I'm Michael and this is Diaries of a Board Game YouTuber for Monday the 21st of August 2017. So you might notice uh, you cannot see the microphone and I've been experimenting, you saw my experiments, my starting experiments anyway, uh, last Diaries video and you'll be seeing, hopefully you'll agree, this is coming out perfectly fine, perfectly good, perfectly clear, no interference. I've kind of got the knack of how to do the taping I think now. And yeah, I've been doing this, practicing with it, with recordings for the past week. So you should start to see recordings coming out using this pretty soon, really. Um, so, I mean, it shouldn't make much difference to you, but for the few people who find it unprofessional, it fixes that problem. And hopefully it doesn't cause any other problems. So, let's see, what has happened this week other than playing around with microphones? Well, I had four videos for Isle of Sky here. Now, Isle of Sky is a tile placement game with a really interesting market mechanic that's kind of like blind bidding, almost. Um, I really like it, I think it scales well. If you want to find out more, I've done a full series of videos. So, you've got the how to play, playthrough, <laughs> review, short review, anything you want to know, I've done it. And then I've also done a review for Zooball down here, which is a light dexterity game coming from Osprey Games. I think it releases next week, I think. Anyway, it's coming out soon. It's a flicking game. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's what you'd expect from a light flicking game. Uh, if you want to see more, then do watch the review. It's very short because... It's, it's not a, there's not a lot to talk about in such a game. But yeah, so that's been what's come out on the channel in the past week. Let's now talk about the figures. So the channel is 20 months old. Well, two days off, so 20 months. And Facebook, we have 2,937 likes. So that's held about level, really, with last week. Small increase, that's what we want to be seeing. Twitter, I'm not too worried about, 10,141, it's been high for ages, it's stayed high, it's kind of up and down a bit, not really a lot going on there, I don't expect much change, and yeah, I'm, I'm kind of happy just to sit there, I'm happy with the interaction I'm getting on Twitter, anyone who does interact with me, I'm really grateful for it, I think I get quite a nice convo going, it's really difficult to have a good conversation on Twitter, but I feel I am managing that every now and then, so I'm really pleased with that, and that's what I'm more concerned with at the moment than the figures. Um, then YouTube subs, we've got 4,658 subs. Again, for the second week running, we've had a huge bump in subs. I'm really pleased to see this. Uh, that's, I think it's 30 subs this week. 40 subs the week before. This is the sort of level of subscriber boosting I expect to see when a giveaway is happening, and I'm not doing a giveaway. It's purely because of those massive darkness videos. People are finding the channel and subscribing of their own accord, not do this and you'll get something for it, just do this and you'll get to see my videos. It's absolutely fantastic to see. Um, so let's see, views, 284,227 views. Wow! I was impressed last week with the doubling my goal. Goal is 4,000 views a week. Had 8,000 last week. Week just gone, nearly, well, 9,500. That's nearly 10,000 views. Whew. Absolutely astounded. Really so happy to see this. Now, I would prefer that the views were being more distributed across videos. Let's uh, let's put it that way. Um, because what I have seen is over about half of those, probably more than, actually more than half, um, over 5,000 of those views came from the Massive Darkness videos. Being first is so important. Being first on a big game makes so much difference. And yeah, um, I'm, re I'm really glad that I've managed that with Massive Darts. I'm glad that it's bringing more attention to the channel, and I just hope that I can manage it with some other games as well uh, in the future. So, yeah, Massive Darkness, 
the review was the most watched video this week with 1.7 thousand views the how to two um, playthrough videos each had one and a half thousand so you can see that makes a huge difference compared to my normal you know two three hundred on my big watch videos and talking about big watch videos the um top 10 games of all time video still getting that two three hundred views a week um, so I'm really pleased to see that I, I really do need to do more top tens top tens are so popular um, I just find that there's so much work to do well and I think I did a really good job on that and I'm really pleased with that and I think people are finding the same so yeah um, well so to talk about on analytics well I was really excited last week that I was nearly at seven minutes view duration for the week this week it's gone even higher it's over seven minutes now so that's just astounding to see so not only are more people watching the massive darkness videos and then they're subscribing as a result but they're watching them for longer you know they're skipping less and yeah ah uh, absolutely loving what is going on right now now another kind of thing i think important to talk about with this analytics this week is that gen con was last week so obviously you'd expect that to have a big impact on views a lot you know you're talking 30 40,000 gamers who are going to be target audience really for this channel are all off playing games at this convention they're not watching videos they're not trying to learn games they're out having demos they're seeing the games they're playing they're meeting people they are not watching YouTube and yet I still have that huge bump in views so that's absolutely astounding for me i mean obviously it's the gen can't views but yeah absolutely fantastic to see i i did notice though um normally the us views like percentage of my views come from the us is about 50 percent and last week it was down to 30 percent of my views were from the us so this really does show that the us less people were watching from the us proportionally than they normally would so Gen Con definitely did have an impact it just wasn't enough to outweigh the massive darkness videos so yeah uh, what else is there to talk about well let's talk about new arrivals because we've got a lot of new arrivals to cover I want to start with this book here from Paizo so yeah they've sent me another Pathfinder book which of course I have read through I really enjoy actually looking at these Pathfinder books and reading them I, I just wish I had more time to actually play RPGs and could sit down and play Pathfinder because, you know, I would keep these books. I think they're fantastic material. And these are 3.5, I think, Pathfinder 3.5, something like that. Um, it's very much, it's modelled, uh, it's very similar to my favourite RPG ever, which was the 3.5 edition of Dungeons & Dragons. So it's no surprise that I do like these so much. What this book is bringing you, and um, we're just going to have a little kind of look through this really, um, it's bringing you what you'd expect. This is Beastery number 6. So if you've got 1 to 5, you know the sort of thing you're going to see. You're going to see new templates, new monsters, just some interesting different things to, if you're playing it a lot, give you more variety, give you more inspiration for creating your campaigns of monsters to have in there. That is what this is going to do for you. I think it does a lovely job. I think if you know you are really into your Pathfinder, you're going to want to get this. If you're not, well, you're going to start with the others and you'll probably find you really enjoy Pathfinder and want to look at these. Um, I mean, the typical kind of things are there, you know, your dragons and stuff like that. The, the book is laid out well, as they always are, very clear, easy to understand, easy to follow, filled with beautiful artwork. Yeah, um, if you get a chance, take a look at Beastery number six from Pathfinder role playing game. Uh, for Pathfinder role playing game from Baizo. Um, let's talk about other new arrivals then. Let me try and remember which order they arrived in. So first we had First Martians Adventures on the Red Planet. So this is a fully co-op game. Um, it does have standalone missions you can play. It also has uh, campaign play. And it's based on the rules for Robinson Crusoe. So it's essentially Robinson Crusoe in space with added app support. So yeah, there's that. Um, I've played that so much this week because it was the first one that arrived. I've played it a huge amount this week. Um, so I'm hoping to get video done pretty soon. I'm probably just going to do a review because um, 
it'd be a lot of work to do the other videos and I can recommend some other videos if you want to learn to play the game. Uh, the best rules video I've seen so far is Watch It Played, unsurprisingly, Rodney does a great job with those. If you're after a playthrough for First Martians, I would actually not advise Watch It Played. I actually think the best playthrough I've seen that actually teaches you the game, goes through it all really nicely, concisely, and just really easy to follow and helps you understand the game and learn it better, is One Stop Co-op Shop. So do take a look at that. Um, and I'll try and remember to include a link uh, to the videos for that because he's done such an astounding job on those. And I really do think, you know, if you're interested in First Martians, they're the ones to check out. Um, then next one to arrive was Anachrony. So Anachrony uh, came out much earlier this year. Well, it was a Kickstarter that happened first, that fulfilled. Then it came out in retail and I, I really wanted to try it. It looked fantastic. And it just took me forever to try it. About a month ago, I finally managed to get a game in with someone and I fell in love with it. I thought it was fantastic. And so I've managed to track down a copy. Uh, I think there is a reprint coming, so there is going to be more coming out for this. I think it's due later this year. It's going to be direct from Mind Clash Games. Um, so, yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to getting some videos done on that. It's, it's a big game. It's a heavy game. It's going to take a while to get those ones out, I think. Then after that, we had Star Wars Rebellion. So this is a two-player only strategy game. Again, a big, heavy game. I don't know when stuff's going to come out. This was a big hit from 2016. I really wanted to play it. Nowhere had it available open to play. I didn't know anyone locally with it to play. So eventually, I've finally given in and bought it. You'll notice I've bought a lot of games this week. Um, it's because I've sold other games. Basically, I, I really wanted to get some more games and I just had to part with some others in order to do that. Um, it's a shame, but there it is. Uh, then after that, we had Vikings Gone Wild. You may be saying, hang on, but you had Vikings Gone Wild. It was one of your favorite games of last year. Um, yes, I do. This is the new expansion coming to Kickstarter later this week. So um, I'm really excited. I've pl already played it a few times this weekend. Uh, or four um, but yeah I, I, I really love Vikings Gone Wild the game uh, Masters of the uh, Masters of Elements Masters of the Elements one of those is the new expansion um, so yeah you'll be expecting a review coming out uh, as soon as I can do one really because as I say the Kickstarter, launch, Kickstarter launches this week and so I want to take advantage of being on that also I'm the last in the chain on this so I actually get to keep this but I'm thinking what I might do, rather than keep this, because I'm going to back the Kickstarter, is give the prototype away for the um, September Two Can Win That Game. That way, helping to promote the Kickstarter for a game that I love, and also kind of helping to promote the channel with something that hopefully other people will be interested in. Um, and I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to do that, and then another option, and then people can choose, you know, first person gets to choose which one they want. Then the final, I think we're on to the final one, yeah, final arrival is Unfair, which is a um, game from Cool Mini or Not from earlier this year. Um, again, this was a Kickstarter that then hit retail and, yeah, just didn't, wasn't able to play it with anyone to try it. So, again, I've used the money from selling games to buy it second hand, to save money, uh, to be able to try it and... Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Um, I've been told it is quite heavily take that -y, which I'm not overly keen on in games, but I've also been told that although there is the opportunity for take that actions, the game doesn't require it, it doesn't insist on it. So I'm really interested. A big, big bonus is when my wife heard about this game, she was like, theme park, the game, I want to play that. So that makes me really want to get it to the table, play it with her, because her being enthusiastic really helps. She's my main gaming partner, and I force a lot of games on her <laughs> that she's maybe less enthusiastic about. So it's nice to have one that she is so enthusiastic about. Um, so yeah, that's uh, everything from this week. Oh, and we've got our new arrivals. Yeah, all that's left to talk about is what you can expect from the channel 
this coming week. So I think what I'm going to get out is, uh, let me see, what have I got written down? Oh yeah, I, I'm going to have out my, my Baron Park videos, so they're going to be coming. And I'm also hoping to get out, because I want to get it done sooner rather than later, uh, Rhino Hero, um, Rhino Hero Super, Super something, Super Battle, Rhino Hero Super Battle, I want to get the videos done for that as well. Um, that's my plan for this week. Whether I manage to do both of those, that's quite a lot to try and do, we'll see. But that is the plan, so stay tuned for that. Uh, do hope you've enjoyed this. If you have, you know what to do. And as always, thanks for watching, and bye for now.